Hi Gemini, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your energy check-in tarot reading for the rest of April going into May of 2020. This is a general reading so it is going to cover several different areas and I will be putting out your May love reading in just a few days so stay tuned. So I'm going to be looking at your current energies, your future energies going into May and also taking some cards on what you need to know now to bring in success during this time period. Are you ready? So before your reading, I took an oracle card for you, and what popped out is smoke or prayers. Prayers will help with this situation. What you have asked for will come about and soon. Ask and it is given. Be patient. Daily prayers will enhance your connection with the divine. Keep a prayer list for those in need of help and healing. Very nice. For your current energies, we have the Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So this is your energy. This is an air sign. And what this tells me is that some of you could be moving pretty quickly in a situation. Okay, and this could be anything. This could simply mean that you've opened the lines of communication with someone, whether this is on a romantic level or just with family and friends or at a job, right? And maybe around this time period, you're just feeling particularly communicative. Okay, it could be anything. Email is what just came to mind or text messaging. It's that kind of energy. Also, you're moving forward in something too. As you can see, this person is moving very, very quickly. Okay, now if this is not your energy, some of you could be dealing with an air sign person or with somebody with air in their chart, or somebody could even be moving pretty quickly toward you and wanting to communicate. So I will clarify in just a few minutes. With the Six of Pentacles, immediate feeling I got when I drew this card is that you could also be working on getting something in balance or even in check. Now, for many of you out there, this is going to be about your finances or your money, okay? Perhaps you're even working on paying off debt or perhaps you're even getting something that was owed to you. Could be a check or direct deposit or a sum of money coming your way. Uh, doesn't matter how big. Could be something on a smaller scale. Now, by the time you watch this reading, some of you could have already received this, okay? It could also mean that some of you are dealing with an earth sign person. So perhaps you're communicating um, with this person or this is the news or message that's coming in for you. Could be about your money or finances. Coming into your future energies, we have King of Wands and the Fool. So this is really nice energy, guys. King of Wands is a fire sign person, a man or woman, as this is a general reading. And somebody who is also very confident, okay? They're a go-getter, they're a mover and a shaker, they recognize opportunities and they go after them, right? So you could be taking on this energy or you already have these traits or connecting with a fire sign person. But what this tells me is that I really do believe for your future that you're going to perhaps even take on a new opportunity. I say that because with the full card directly underneath the King of Wands, this is going fearlessly into your future and taking on a new opportunity okay now it could be that you're going to be in the energy where it's a little bit of a leap of faith or gamble okay because maybe you don't know if it's going to work out and that's with most life decisions right we don't know if that new job is going to pan out or that new relationship is going to be a success but whatever this is it's really nice energy it's it's like you are going to really be in your own, maybe even getting some type of confidence or getting your confidence up and you're going to go fearlessly into your future. The message I always deliver here with the Fool card though is just make sure that you are weighing out everything enough and that you're not acting too hastily. Nothing wrong with taking a leap of faith. Like I said, we all have to uh, sometimes but just make sure that you're thinking things out through enough, like you have a game plan here. It could be too that you meet somebody or you're already interacting with this person who sparks an idea or gives you an idea or you, know, you take a new journey with this fire sign person or just with a person that is very motivational and maybe even convinces you in some way to take a new journey. 
For the cards of advice, we have Three of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. So this is really nice energy. And as I look at your spread, you have a very positive reading. So I have the feeling that money is really at the forefront or at the focus right now, or it should be. And that's the message coming through. Three of Pentacles, too, is also about collaborating, guys. This is group effort, um, teamwork even, too. So actually, I was just talking about perhaps there's going to be somebody that really motivates you to, you know, take a new journey or take a new opportunity. Well, this is echoing that message because this could sometimes talk about coming together and collaborating on a project. Uh, like I said, it's teamwork. It could be at a job, not necessarily so. Okay. So as your card of advice for around this time period, be on the lookout for new opportunities. Okay. If somebody wants to start something new with you, whatever that means for you, consider it, right? If it's in your best interest. Also too, with this particular card, it's like this person is teaching something and two people are watching what this person is doing. So perhaps around this time period, it's a good time to learn a new skill set or even perfect a skill set, especially if you're going after a new job or promotion or something at school, you know, now is really the time to do that. With the Ace of Pentacles here, that's really interesting because this is one of my cards standing for a new beginning or a new opportunity, guys. So this is all really tying in nicely and confirming the message that I have the feeling that for many of you out there, there is something new that is trying to come in or is coming in currently. So some of you could already be experiencing this now. And what this is really saying is be on the lookout for it or be open to it. Again, this could have to do with your money, finances, or something that just brings you stability, right? Also to be open to a new beginning. So I'm gonna clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific. Wow, guys, <laughs> very, very nice. Clarifying your current energies, we have Ace of Cups. So this is the second Ace present in your reading. So what did I say? Yeah, the theme seems to be a new beginning here, okay? So now this is about love or even self-love or unconditional love, okay? If some of you are not experiencing this now, then I have a feeling that this is something to come for your future, right? But some of you could really be connecting with somebody new. Now, this doesn't even necessarily have to be about romance because I realize that many of you are not dealing with a romantic situation. So if that's your case, this is about connecting with a family member, a friend, anybody, okay? And it could be just somebody that makes you happy or, you know, makes your heart smile. It's that kind of energy. Like I said, it is a new beginning of some sort. So it could be that, you know, some type of message comes in about this, right? Could be from an air sign person or somebody with air in their chart, or this is just simply more of your energy. But whatever this is, guys, this is really nice because there's two aces here. Yeah, it's confirming the message that many of you are going to get some type of new beginning or opportunity. It could be too that you get a message from somebody and they want to rebuild something or even make something up to you. Okay, so if you were in a situation where you were giving, 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 um, this could be about this person wanting to come in and make it up to you or repay you in some way. OK, as you can see, you know, this person is like handing something out. They're handing something of value out. OK, it could also mean that you guys are really getting your power back or starting to love yourself the way you need to be or working on self-love. You know, for once you're finally taking care of your needs and you know, even working on your emotional well-being. But whatever this is, it's really, really nice energy. Clarifying your future energies, we have 10 of Pentacles. So <laughs> can't get much better than this, guys. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the 10 of Pentacles 
present. All right, so yeah, for many of you out there, this really confirms for me that finances, money, career, stability is really going to be the main focus or energy going into your future and could be your focus right now, right? So there could be an opportunity that you're faced with and it could be something about a job or anything, a project or a business that really has the potential to bring in a lot of money, as you can see the visual here. Ten of Pentacles is stability, it's happy home life, it's a legacy even. So perhaps some of you are really going to be um, taking on a new job or um, you know, even kind of choosing to take on a new career path for some of you out there, but it might be a little bit scary, you know, it, which is normal. So perhaps you're kind of in that energy now where you're choosing if you even want to take on a new opportunity and it could really have the potential to bring in a lot of money or just set your future up nicely. Now, for a small percentage of you out there, this could have to do with romance where somebody does come in and maybe um, offer you some type of a commitment because I did see the Hierophant card as I was shuffling and that is one of my marriage cards, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here. So this could have to do with a commitment uh, for some of you out there. Maybe somebody gives you a commitment or offers you a stable relationship. With the Tower card clarifying your cards of advice, when I first saw this card, it didn't make a lot of sense, but then the message came in and it clicked. So if some of you went through a difficult time in anything, this is about rebuilding, okay? Especially with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, guys. So for what you need to know now or hear now, what this is saying is some of you need to work on rebuilding after perhaps a shakeup. It could be a breakup for some of you, a loss, anything that came in that maybe really shook you or was unfortunately a disruption in your life. It could have something to do with what we're all going through. But what this is saying is be open to new opportunities, try to rebuild. I know it's really hard depending on what you're dealing with, but you just want to make sure that you're at least willing to rebuild or kind of overlook something that happened because there could be a blockage and you don't want to block a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles here. Especially with the Three of Pentacles, this confirms the message. This is about rebuilding or coming together, right? And maybe even collaborating with somebody or just, you know, starting a new project. It's really confirming all of the messages and energy that I just delivered. Gemini, I wish you a beautiful rest of your April. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time with love.